Hey, how's it going, YouTubers? This is the second part to setting up the cube on Ubuntu. So, if you haven't seen the first part, go ahead and see that before continuing on this video. Um, you want to go back onto System Preferences and Compute Config Settings Manager to open up the manager. Last time I talked about how to uh, make a, a sky dome image for the uh, for when you spin around like this and now I'm gonna be talking about how to uh, put images on top and the bottom of the cube and also um, also how to zoom out of the cube so it's further away so I'm gonna show you how to do that if you click on rotate cube here you have a a general option, go to general options, and then the zoom down here. I have it set up at four, but if you go further, um, it'll make the cube look further away. So I would say about seven. Seven is fine. Depends on what you like. You can select whatever you want. See. Okay. Let's go back to the main menu. And I'm going to show you how to make uh, the cube into a sphere or a uh, a cylinder. So you go down to effects and select cube reflection and deformation. Um, click on the tab that says deformation. And then you have deformation and you have a drop down menu right here. And you can select uh, a sphere or a cylinder. So if I select a sphere, it's going to look like this. And you can ch change the shape of the sphere by moving the aspect ratio. So you can make it more like egg-shaped or ball-shaped. And here's another option, uh, reflection. If reflection is enabled, then you'll see a reflection of your sphere like this. I don't really like it, so I leave it off, the reflection. Now, to change the caps, you see the cap on, on the top and the cap on the bottom. You have to go on cube caps right here, and then select appearance, and you get these uh, image folders. So, if you want to change that, just click on new for each one of them, new for the top and new for the bottom one. When you click on new, it's going to open up a folder and then you can look up an image of your choice to select the one you want. Now make sure that your image is all the way on the top, so if it's not, just keep hitting up until it's all the way up, otherwise it's going to set up the uh, default image. Now, that's pretty much for the cube. That's uh, all you can do to it. Um, some other things that you might want to make sure you check off is Windows Preview. Because this allows you to preview what's on your tab without clicking on it. For example, this. That's what Windows Previews does. The splash is a screen that pops up in, when you log on. I have it checked on because I like it. It's like a little graphic um, animation that pops up every time you log on. Now, if you want to... Uh, switch between windows uh, there's two options the ring switcher and the shift switcher this shift switcher d displays the windows like a deck of cards and you can switch between them and the ring switcher does a ring so this is what it does let me show you I'm gonna open a bunch of windows and if I press uh, start and tab 
I can uh, scroll around through the windows that I have. So my next, the next part, I'm gonna show you how to um, do all the special effects for the windows and how to make them transparent like this when you drag them. So stay tuned for the next one.